let me bring in I first. I have the executive director for the Institute of Education Studies, Peter Ante, joining us via Zoom. Now, I first has a position which they've made clear in a statement that they released uh, on the 18th. Um, Peter, thank you once again for your patience. In this statement, you are asking for the suspension of the reopening of basic schools. Is your uh, suggestion strictly for basic schools? Hello, Peter. Thank you very much and good, uh, good afternoon to your viewers. I have to make this point. One, uh, we have been for the reopening of the schools since day one. And that is because we know the disadvantages of keeping the kids in the house. Again, we were expecting the Ghana Education Service to have learned from the partial reopening of the schools that was carried out um, before, uh, d during uh, last year. And we were hoping that since we were even dealing with a smaller group of students, getting the PPEs to the school really delayed. And that is one of the findings that we had when we conducted our research. So we were thinking that they would have learned from the experiences that they have gathered during the partial reopening and would have sent the PPEs to the schools two weeks or one week before time. But unfortunately, we were told that the PPEs would get to the schools, and by the time school reopened today, every school would have their full complement of the PPEs. We decided to do some small cross-check using our various networks, and we realized that most of the schools, as has even indicated by your reporters, most of the schools across the length and breadth of the countries do not have the full complements of the PPEs. In some schools, they don't have at all. And some of them, those who have, it seems like they brought it from the house. That is why we are saying that, look, the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education knew when schools will, re will reopen. And if they knew when schools will reopen and they have sat down and have not been able to get the PPEs to the schools till now, then it means that they are not ready for the reopening of the school. So they should suspend the reopening for one or two or three weeks and make sure that the all the schools in the country get the full complement of the PPEs before they, they, they ask the students to go back. Especially looking at the, the announcement made by the president yesterday that the COVID is on, an, on, on ascendancy, it's increasing. And the president urged all of us to comply with the, with the COVID protocols. Now we reopen school today and the students do not have these PPEs and they have gathered in their numbers in the various schools. In some classes, they, are, they outnumber the number of uh, DEXs in the classrooms. What are we doing? We are finding ways and means to spread the disease across the length and breadth of the country. And that is why we are thinking that if the Ghana Education Service is not ready to get these schools the needed uh, uh, PPEs, then they should suspend the reopening and wait till they are able to distribute these things to the districts for the districts to forward it to the schools. Then they can ask the students to go to cam campus to pick their PPEs and then we can, we can all ensure the safety of the students hmm. and the teachers on campus. How far are you willing to take this advocacy that you just put in? I mean, we've seen the statement, government has a position, students have been at home for so long. Are you, have you, if I should put it that way, engaged the education ministry, for example, with this uh, um, suggestion? Maybe it could, you could make sense to them better that way. Yes, we, we have not engaged the education ministry. We have, we have sent copies of this statement to the Ghana Education Service, hoping that they would look at it and then, and then take the needed, needed, needed steps because we cannot continue to, to keep the students on, on campus in that state. So we are hoping that they will, they will look at it. I, we, 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 we believe that they would forward it to the Ministry of Education. Of course, we sent email copies to the okay. ministry, uh, specific um, uh, 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 directors at the ministry, mm. and we are hoping that they will, they will look at it. But how far are we willing to, to, to take this? We, we are planning to meet the uh, authorities of the Ghana Education Service within the week. We are hoping that they will, they will listen to us and... and and of course, they will they will line up their challenges. But we think that this 
better for them to suspend the reopening, make sure all the streets get the PPEs, and then they always provide it to the, the schools before the students are asked to go back to campus. I think this is a point that is reasonable and everybody would, would agree with that position. Peter, thank you very much once again for your patience and your time. Peter Anti is Executive Director for the Institute for Education Studies there. Their position is that suspend the classes for now, provide the PPEs before you allow the students to go back to school. I'll take you to Wale Wale shortly, but some of you have been sending me some messages here. Let me take a quick one. This one says, good afternoon. Would You, you will be shocked to learn that at the Iron City basic school in Galilea near Kaswa, the classrooms for KG, and we're talking about KG, KG, that's kindergarten. He says KG through primary school to JHS are having enrollments between nine to eight pupils and 130 pupils per class. The classrooms are overpopulated that the COVID-19 hygienic and social distancing protocols cannot be appropriately applied there. To add insults to injury, this message says, reliable information has it that GS director under whose jurisdiction the school is has shown unwillingness to run a shift system. I have friends and relatives in that school who uh, who are teachers and pupils. Now, I think that it's interesting that, it, thank you for bringing this to um, um, the, the attention of the public, but maybe you should reach out to um, higher authorities in the neighborhood so that we can deal with this. 90 people in a class, that will be disastrous. This is coming from Josiah. He sends that in Accra. Well, you're wish, hoping that we uh, take our cameras to this school as well. Certainly, we'll put that on our radar.